In this video, I'll show you how to buy USDT on Binance using your credit or debit card, whether you're on your phone or computer. Want to buy USDT with a credit or debit card, but not sure how? This tutorial will show you the simplest way to do it on Binance, on both the mobile app and the website. I've seen some other tutorials about this topic, including those by Tech and CRYP, MoneyZG, and tutorials with Terry. While they're helpful, I wanted to create a more comprehensive guide that not only covers buying with a card but also addresses common questions I've seen. Hello, and welcome to the 3 Minutes Fix channel. Before we jump in, if this video helps you out and you'd like to support what we do, check the pinned comment below. I've added a useful Sipto resource there for you too. Now, let's get started with how to buy USDT with a credit or debit card. First, you'll need to access Binance. You can do this either through the Binance mobile app, available on the iOS App Store and Google Play Store, or by going to the Binance website, binance.com on your computer. If you don't have a Binance account yet, you'll need to create one. Tap sign up on the mobile app or register on the website and follow the instructions. You'll also need to complete the verification process, which is similar on both platforms. I'll link a helpful tutorial for that in the description. Once you're logged in and verified, you'll need to head to the Buy Crypto section. On the app, tap Add Funds at the top of your screen. On the website, click on the Buy Crypto option on the top navigation bar. Next, select Credit Debit Card as your payment method. Then, choose your fiat currency, that's your local currency, like USD, EUR, etc and select USDT as the cryptocurrency you want to purchase. Enter the amount of USDT you want to buy or the equivalent in your local currency. Next, verify your payment method. If you've used a card before, you can select it. If it's a new card, you'll be prompted to enter your card information like card number, expiry date, and CVV. Finally, confirm your payment details. Double-check all the information on the confirmation page, and then click or tap Confirm. With that, your USDT is on its way to your Binance account. On the app, you can check your balance anytime by going to your wallet. On the website, your USDT will be in your spot wallet. Before we continue, if you're finding this tutorial helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more tech tips. Now, let's explore some additional tips and considerations. Binance may charge a small fee for card purchases. The exact amount can vary depending on your location, card type, and the platform you're using, so be sure to check the details on the confirmation screen before you finalize the transaction. Ensure your card is compatible with Binance. Most major credit and debit cards are accepted, but it's always a good practice to confirm. There might be limits on how much USDT you can buy with a card, especially for new accounts. These limits can vary and may be different on the app versus the website. Check the purchase limits displayed during the transaction. Binance employs security measures to protect your card information. However, it's always a good practice to enable two-factor authentication or 2FA on your Binance account for added security. Buying USDT with a credit or debit card on Binance is a straightforward process, whether you're using the mobile app or the website. To explore more cryptocurrency video tutorials, click this card. If this video helped and you'd like to support what we do, feel free to buy me a coffee, links in the pinned comment. Check the description below for more helpful tutorials. If you have a question or need more help, leave a comment, and I'll be happy to assist. Thank you for tuning in.